Hello, I'm here from Cardiac Science to present the training video on the PowerHeart G5 Automated External Defibrillator. The G5 has been designed to be extremely reliable and easy to use, so anyone who witnesses a cardiac arrest has a confidence to grab the defibrillator and use it appropriately. The G5 will guide you through the whole rescue process. Once the lid is open, voice and text prompts will guide you through how to effectively place the electrodes on the patient's bare chest. Once effectively placed, the AED will analyse the patient's heart rhythm and determine if a shock is required. This comprehensive and concise 10 minute training video will give you the confidence to use the G5 to help save a life. In this training video, we will deal with the problem, that is sudden cardiac arrest, deal with the solution, being defibrillation, show you how easy it is to use the G5 and also how to look after your G5. Now let's deal with the problem of sudden cardiac arrest. Sudden cardiac arrest is an electrical malfunction of your heart muscle. The function of your heart is to pump blood to your vital organs and when you suffer a cardiac arrest your heart muscle starts to quiver and therefore the blood doesn't get to your vital organs. Signs of sudden cardiac arrest are the patient is unconscious, not breathing and unresponsive. Sudden cardiac arrest is different to a heart attack. A heart attack is a mechanical problem which is caused by a blockage of arteries to the heart muscle. Sudden cardiac arrest is a massive problem in Australia. Over 30,000 people each year suffer a sudden cardiac arrest and currently only between 2 and 5% of people survive. For every minute of delay, your chance of survival declines by 10%. And therefore, there's only a 10 minute window of opportunity. The problem is, in Australia, ambulance response times are on average between 10 to 12 minutes. So the only guarantee of getting a defibrillator there in time is by having one on site. In order to survive a sudden cardiac arrest, defibrillation is required. Defibrillation is a controlled pulse of energy to the heart muscle to convert it from that abnormal state of quivering back to a normal state. The G5 customises the energy to suit the patient. Defibrillation is the only definitive treatment for sudden cardiac arrest. CPR alone cannot correct an abnormal heart rhythm. In fact, CPR is used in conjunction with defibrillation for a sudden cardiac arrest patient. The chain of survival has been established for many years and represents a chain of actions that, if implemented immediately, when a sudden cardiac arrest victim collapses, can lead to a greater opportunity for survival. The basic life support guidelines released by the Australian Resuscitation Council includes defibrillation. D. Check for dangers. R. Check for response of the patient. S. Send for help. Call 000. A. Open the airway of the patient. B. Check if the patient is breathing normally. C. Commence CPR, 30 compressions followed by two breaths. D. If available, attach defibrillator. To use the G5 AED is extremely easy. Opening the lid turns the device on. Voice and text prompts guide you through exactly what to do. And at the end of the day, all you're doing is placing the electrodes on the patient's bare chest. One on the upper chest, under the collarbone on the right side and the other on the left side under the rib cage. The AED knows the speed of the user. Once you've peeled one electrode, it will only then proceed to the next prompt. However, if you know what you're doing and place the electrodes on the patient's bare chest, it will cut out all the prompts and go straight to analyzing the heart rhythm. Once the electrodes have been effectively placed, the AED will analyze the patient's heart rhythm and determine if the patient is suffering a cardiac arrest. Only if they're suffering a cardiac arrest will the AED advise to deliver a shock. The PowerHeart G5 AED comes in two models. One is the fully automatic defibrillator with no buttons at all to press, as well as the semi-automatic, where a button is required to be pressed if a shockable rhythm is found. The G5 AED customizes the energy to suit the patient based on impedance, which is opposition of flow to energy, to ensure that the patient is receiving the right energy for their needs. There are two different electrode pads available for the G5 AED. The G5 adult electrode pads come pre-connected and are part of the daily comprehensive self-test. They have a two-year shelf life and the expiry date is visible through the front window of the AED. If the patient is less than eight years of age or less than 25 kilograms, specific paediatric electrode pads are available. 
If you have a pediatric patient, you will need to remove the adult electrode pads that are pre-connected and open the pediatric electrode pads package and connect them to the AED. The G5 will pick up that pediatric electrode pads have been connected and will then deliver the correct energy for a pediatric patient. The G5 AED knows which electrodes are connected to the unit. The G5 will also know if there is a CPR device connected to the electrode pads. If the CPR device electrode pads are connected, the AED will guide you through removing the CPR device from the green package in the lid of the AED. The G5 will guide you through the 30 compressions with a metronome to assist the timing of compressions along with pausing for the two breaths. The G5 will give you feedback on how effectively you are performing CPR. The G5 will advise if you are doing your compressions correctly, either too fast or too slow, too deep or not deep enough. If there is no green package in the lid with the CPR device and only standard electrode pads are connected, the AED will still guide you through how to perform CPR along with the metronome for 30 compressions as well as the two breaths. The only difference is that the AED will not give you feedback during CPR. You cannot inappropriately use the G5. It will only shock if a person is suffering a cardiac arrest or alternatively talk you through CPR. If a shock is required, a compulsory two minutes of CPR will follow. Using the G5 AED is extremely easy. All you need to do is open the lid to turn the device on. Voice prompts will guide you through the rescue. Stay calm. Follow these instructions. Make sure triple zero is called now. Begin by exposing patient's bare chest. Remove or cut clothing if needed. When patient's chest is bare, remove the white square package from lid of AED. Tear open the white package across dotted line and remove pads. Peel one of the white pads completely from blue plastic. Begin pulling from the tabbed corner. Firmly place the pad without the blue plastic on patient's bare chest, exactly as shown on pads. This pad can be placed on either of the two locations as shown on pads. Firmly place the second pad on the other location exactly as shown on pads. Do not touch the patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. Please wait. Shock advised. Do not touch the patient. Shock will be delivered in three, two, one. Shock delivered. It is now safe to touch the patient. Remove green square package from lid of AED. Tear open green package and remove CPR device. Place CPR device on center of patient's chest between nipples. Place heel of one hand on CPR device. Place heel of other hand directly on top of first hand. Lean over patient with elbows straight. Press the patient's chest down rapidly. One third the depth of chest, then release. Give patient 30 rapid compressions and two breaths. Start CPR. Press harder and fully release. Stop compressions. Give breath. Give breath. Continue with compressions. If there is no green package in the lid with the CPR device and only standard electrode pads are connected, the AED will still guide you through how to perform CPR along with the metronome for 30 compressions as well as the two breaths. The only difference is that the AED will not give you feedback during CPR. Once the CPR cycle is complete, the G5 analyzes the heart rhythm and delivers additional therapy if necessary. Leave the electrode pads on the patient until the ambulance arrives. The G5 AED has a seven year warranty, an IP55 rating for dust and water and tested to military standards. The Rescue Ready Status Indicator tells you the working order of the device. It needs to be green every single day. The device performs automatic self-testing at 3 o'clock every morning and tests the critical components, namely the battery, the electrodes and the internal circuitry. The medical grade battery has a 5-year life and a 4-year warranty. 
The electrodes have a two year expiry and the expiry date is in the front of the unit. If the device fails the self-test, the status indicator will turn from green to red. To determine the problem, simply open up the lid and one of the indicators, whether it be your battery, your electrodes or service will be illuminated and audibly alarm. It will actually tell you battery low, check electrodes or maintenance required. This is how the G5 will arrive. The battery is not inserted into the unit. The electrode pads are pre-connected to the device. All you need to do to set up the G5 AED is insert the battery at the back of the unit as follows. And the rescue ready status indicator will turn from red to green. To change the electrodes, simply open up the lid, pull the electrode connector away and take the pads away from the lid and just insert the new electrode pads into the connector the same way you took it out. Once the AED has been used in a rescue, all you need to do is replace the electrodes and ensure the expiry date is visible through the lid of the AED. You need to ensure that the rescue ready status indicator is green once the electrodes have been replaced. You can retrieve the information via USB. The full rescue, 90 minutes of data, can be retrieved through the AED Manager software provided on CD with the AED. There's a number of accessories available for the G5 AED. There are carry sleeves, premium carry cases, wall sleeves, cabinets, and a training unit to replicate a scenario.